Hello everyone and welcome to the channel. In this video, I am going to share a very interesting project with you which is called as Llama Cards. Llama Cards is a simple web application that offers a user-friendly real-time interface for engaging with large language models or LLMs. This intuitive platform enables users to design and link customizable cards each serving as a unique functional module for tasks such as crafting prompts, generating responses, and exploring various language models. There are a lot of cool features which are already present in this Llama Cards and by the way, this is a very new project, so still evolving, so we can expect some of the bugs. The features which are already present include interactive cards. So what you can do, you can create and manage cards that interact with different language models. You can do real-time communication because it utilizes web socket connections to handle real-time updates and interactions. Plus, you can have customizable models. What it means is that you can easily switch between different language models for varied responses. Plus, you can have comprehensive logging to debug and monitor the application's performance. Technologies which this project is using are quite interesting. For example, it is using a Python ASGI, which is Quad. That is a web framework based on Flask. It also uses WebSockets, JavaScript, and a bit of HTML and cascading style sheets. So let's get install it in on our local system and then play around with it. Before I do that, let me give a huge shout out to Mast Compute who are sponsoring the VM and GPU for this video. If you are looking to rent a GPU on affordable prices, I will drop the link to their website in video's description. Plus, I'm also going to give you a coupon code of 50% discount on a range of GPUs. So do check them out. This is my terminal where I'm running Ubuntu 22.04. And this is my GPU card NVIDIA RTX A6000. Let me clear the screen. First up, let's create a Conda environment. I'm just calling it Llama card and activating it. And that is done. Let me install some of the prerequisites which include torch and transformers all the packages are installed now let's git clone the repo of this llama cards and then cd into it and i will drop the link to it in videos description the repo is cloned let's install all the requirements in this repo which are present in this requirement.txt file and this is what i was referring to when i was saying that this is a new project if you look at the uh, directory content, the requirements are is still capital. So I'm just going to go with the, that one. So, but very new project. But I think these are the basic things which should be taken care of. Anyway, so everything is installed. Let me clear the screen here. If I do ls-ltr now, there should be a llama cards.py. That is the last file. So simply use your Python 3 or whatever your python's exe uh, file is then just simply run this python3 llama cards.py and this is going to start the application and you can see that now the application is running on our local system at port 5000 so let me open it in the browser and this is how it looks like initially in our browser because we haven't created any card so it is pretty black here and it is running on port 5000 and now let's see how it works. The great thing is that this Llama cards work on Olama. If you don't know what Olama is, Olama is one of the easiest and um, quickest way to run large language models locally in quantized format. If you don't know how to install it, please search the channel. I already have done heaps of videos. It's very simple, by the way. All you need to do is to click on this download, grab this shell, uh, this whole command, paste it in your terminal, and that is going to install Olama. I already have Olama configured as you can see if you do Olama list these are the models which I already have downloaded and if you want to download simply do Olama pull and such as Llama and it is going to download the Llama 3 model. So I already have this 53 Llama 3 so I'm going to use that one it is already running you don't need to do anything else. Now coming back to this Llama card right click on anywhere on this right hand side section maybe i'll just go with prompt card i'll say 
tell me a joke let's go with this one then right next to it again click here llm card i'll just go with llm llama 3.1 which i already have i'm just going to keep this as is and i'll just say tell me joke and then i'm just going to click again here another llm card i think i'm just going to move everything here a bit and then i'm just going to maybe select five three here and then i'll just say summarize the joke and here joke summary or summarize the joke whatever you like now let's connect these so these are the outbounds you can tell them from the direction so i'm just going to click on this blue one and then just drag and input it here on the red one similarly blue one to red one so i'm just chaining them together now for instance if i click on send here you will see that this prompt will be sent to this llama 3.1 model click here you see it has gone here it has used the uh, llama 3.1 and given me the joke an impasta there you go so this is a joke what do you call a fake noodle an impasta and then this 53 model so this out uh, output of llama 3.1 has been sent to 53 and 53 has summarized it like this one summary of joke the humor in this joke comes from wordplay particularly putting on the italian dish spaghetti with a playful um, term like impostora fake or imposter which is twisted into impasta so you see that i have just uh, connected all of these llms with their prompts and then you can chain them together also there are few other options of the models at the moment llama 3.1 5 3 llama moon dream you can check all of them together and then you can chain them so as i said still early days you would have uh, you might because you see this drag and drop doesn't properly work but still good enough i would say and if you go through the code of the project it's very very simply written how good is that if you want you can just select the card here you can clear the card content and if you cl click on clear table it is going to clear the whole table how good is that and creating a new card is as simple as creating the llm card and then you can select your um, model and then go from there so all in all real good stuff uh, i mean i really marvel at the you know innovation and creativity of the people this is amazing so let me know what do you think i'm going to drop the link to this github repo in video description play around with it if you like the content please consider subscribing to the channel and if you're already subscribed please share it among your network as it helps a lot thanks for watching